Hi everyone, this is Haris Bakri. In this video, I'm going to showcase to you um, short courses, which is uh, containing about 14 pieces of uh, video series uh, in where you could develop the um, job marketplace. So the job marketplace will entitle you to have three, three user roles, which are admin, who are supervising the, the platform. Second is the employer who do who does the you know who who tries to seek talent and so on and then the third it will be the talent itself finding jobs and so on. So in this video, in this uh, in this current part one, we'll be doing the uh, creating the data types. So firstly, you may need to create a company. So you have a company logo, company name, description, email, HR team, and the HR team has a list of users location. And then also open jobs, so a list of jobs. So a list of jobs and also a list of users, you may need to create a new one. So jobs, you may need to create a new data type. So in the jobs data type, you have application. So with application, you have a list of application job applications. So you need to create one new job application data type. Applied by list of users, category, tags, and then so on and so on. Um, so these are all the, the the data types that we'll be using and we may be adding additional um, data type also in the later stage of this tutorial. So we'll proceed with option sets. So option sets will have job listing status. So we'll be using that to for the admin to use it for jobs and so on. And then for the user, we have uh, admin user with a boolean type, yes or no, full name, tax, location, geography, address, profile photo, as an image, and then also user as a dependent to a company. Alright, so let's move back to the option sets. So the option sets, we have uh, job category, um, product management, data scientist, and add whatever you want to add also. So, and then followed by with the job type. So the job type can be internship, full-time, part-time, contract, and so on. And then obviously, as mentioned earlier, job status. And then also remote friendly, if you wish to add another one, which is full remote, conditional remote, or not remote at all. So that that is it for this part one. We'll be moving on to the later stage where we'll be discussing about more into the designing the job listing status, job marketplace itself, and the other uh, functions. See you guys next video. Bye-bye.